Our Bridge City News reporter Josie Foster hit the streets to find out what Christmas means to the people in Lethbridge. Christmas for me is really about getting together with my family. Three kids and my wife and I and, and so the extended family is not big, so any time we can spend time with the grandkids and family is very important. It gave us something to do as kids, skidooing around the countryside. The only problem is that it was freezing cold. Like just the random memories you have of the holidays. Um, like even the scarf, uh, it's a funny memory. Um, it was actually a gift to my brother for Christmas one year and he never wore it and I always borrowed it and after like a year of me wearing it he's like you can have this and so it kind of reminds me of Christmas. I had like frostbite on my cheeks. <laughs> Playing board games, watching movies and, and, and eating lots of food. It's going to be really nice just to eat turkey and be around the table and laugh and joke and play with their toys. Having a special meal like Coquille Saint-Jacques and uh, then opening presents. I think it's become increasingly difficult for people to receive without any strings attached and this year I'm so aware of how special it is to experience that so intensely for, for like a week. I think it amplifies where you're at, right? It can be really good if things are good, but if things aren't so good, it can be really bad, really, you know. So, yeah, I don't know what it is about that time of season. Maybe it's just that we're hitting the end of that year. We live in such a fast-paced world. Um, a lot of us are just almost workaholics and we're busy all the time. Over the years, people uh, pass away and they're no longer with us. And as that happens, it means the people that we have left with us are more precious and you want to celebrate every year you have with them. I think it's always good to take time at the end of the year and kind of reflect on how the year has gone. We're kind of always living in this tension. That is really the Christmas story. Like, it is only December where we recognize that we need to be saved from our crap and then we experience this pleasure and this gift of being restored to joy. So wherever you're at this holiday season, mentally, physically, emotionally or spiritually, may it be a season, a time, a week where you can receive a seed of hope for your new year. Enjoy wearing comfy clothes, enjoy the food and the friendship and the laughter and the games and be present. From me to you, Merry Christmas.